Hey, uh, what do you think of Evander dropping the puck with an empty net? Good teammate. Yeah, I think um, I heard Connor's interview after, and he used the word unselfish. And I think um, you know, Kaner was on the ice in the last minute and a half there for a reason. And that that group went out and and did its job. Darnell made a great play off the faceoff. I thought he had a lot of poise, and then uh, uh, Kaner recognizing that um, that Connor was available and. He found him and he's a great teammate. Can you, sorry, can you do something for the culture of a team when other guys see, you know, a guy like Evander Kane doing something that unselfish? Yeah, I think so. I think that's a positive uh, positive sign. I'm glad you guys picked up on that. that. Like, that's one of the things sometimes coaches just pick up on and show in, in video and stuff like that. But I thought it was, it was positive. Um, obviously, uh, an unselfish act. So this team, basically, on what it accomplished, last year and, and the, the guys you have, you're, you're not going to be able to sneak up on a lot of opponents this season. So that kind of level of readiness, not necessarily specific to yesterday, but it has to be heightened this season. Yeah, I don't think, um, you know, I don't think uh, we're sneaking up on anybody. I think just the nature of some of the players that we have in our lineup um, that, that raises other teams' antennas. Um, and, uh, you know, in my experience here in Edmonton, we haven't seen many backup goaltenders, um, and most teams that we play are ready right from the drop of the puck. So it's incumbent upon us to make sure that uh, we're ready and prepared to meet that challenge. You had some time now to you know watch video and kind of go over last night's game. Now that you've had that opportunity, what do you make of last night's start? You know, the first period. Yeah, obviously, I mean. You know, you got to give a little credit to Vancouver. They're a good hockey team too, and they started the way they wanted to start. Uh, not every uh, period is going to go our way, uh, but can we be better? Yeah, we can be better. I think we'd be, um, you know, living in a fool's paradise if we thought the winning recipe going forward is going to be fall behind by three goals and take eight penalties and try and win games. I, I don't think that. That's a recipe conducive to sustainable success. Uh, so, you know, we've addressed the things that can get cleaned up. Um, you know, we're going to recover today. We're going to have a really good practice tomorrow, we'll work on some things that uh, we feel will help us in our, you know, quest to improve. And uh, we'll be ready to come Saturday night. Earlier in the third period, the Canucks found themselves on a power play. 15 seconds later, Derek Ryan makes an effort play gets a high stick and call, draws it even. As a coach who teaches details, can a moment like that be used as a, a, a learning moment for a team? Yeah, I mean, DR is one of those guys that um, is sincerely appreciated by every teammate. And certainly uh, his contribution to the team is um, very much appreciated by the coaching staff. Uh, he's one of those unsung guys. Uh, I thought that was a big play in the game yesterday. And um, certainly with the way DR gets used, uh, you can see that he's a real trusted uh, player um, on the Edmonton Oilers. How often do you use little moments like, say, that moment in the video room as teaching moments? Yeah, we try to. Yeah, we, I think uh, there's, there's times where you're finding clips that are learning clips, you know, learners or so. And then there's times where, you know, you got to make sure you're catching your team doing things properly too and catching him doing it right. So you have the learning clips on the one side and the confirming clips on the other, learners and confirmers. Are the messages a little more gentle this early in the season? Not that yelling ever accomplishes anything, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's game one, relax, but hey, don't do this. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if you go into a meeting like that, but uh, yeah. Um, you know, I think we're serious about being the best we can on a daily basis, and um, you know we're honest when we when we sit down for meetings. We're honest. Uh, we're not long. Uh, we're focused and to the point. Um, uh, but I think everybody's coming at it with the idea that you know we're we're not looking to rub noses in anything. We're we're looking to improve, and and how can we do that? Uh, and I think when you go about it in that manner, everybody's open. Uh, and as I said earlier, I think, you know, there's stuff to improve, but there were some good things last night too. And we want to make sure we highlighted those as well. Jake, 
Yeah. There were some games in the. I think there were three games in the preseason where you guys were shorthanded six or more times. Mm -hmm. One you got to nine or ten. Yeah. And it was eight last night. Is there a root cause of some of the minors? You know, that's leading to, to you guys taking. Well, something? yeah, I think it can go back to the start. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about getting on the front foot and not being on the back foot. I thought there were things that we did five on five where we maybe overreached, and when I say that. That, that led to us, you know, maybe defending more than we wanted to defend. Um, and when you're defending more than you wanted to defend, sometimes you take penalties. And, and is there a root cause? Um, you know, there's some things that we can do better. It's got to get cleaned up. It's been addressed, and uh, we're going to move on to the next game. Jay, I know you've been asked about Yamo and Fogel, but any update on their status? No, up, no update today. They're skating today. Uh, I think they're progressing in their... In their uh, you know, kind of their quest to, to get into the lineup. We'll see. Uh, we'll see where they're at tomorrow if they're full practice players. And but I think they're moving in the right direction.